Today in Matt's class, we are going to do another monotone illustration on tinted paper with black and white color pencils. We're slowly going from limited color into full color, but today we're using not one, not two, but three additional colors, plus black and white pencils and the tone of the paper, and we are gonna make something amazing like this. So this is one of my favorite limited color sketches that I've done on the Artigan paper. Again, this is just kind of tone paper, and I did this with limited colors. I actually did this really quick. I did this as a study for a full-blown, full-color painting that I was going to do of Neytiri, and she's the Navi, is that what she is? She's one of the Navi from Abbott. It's been so long, I, I don't remember what anything is called. but. I wanted to do a full color painting. So this was kind of the quick concept sketch. So I did this really quick. Then I spent a lot of time painting this in high detail, just all of the little lights and everything. Here's what's so funny. When people see that quick sketch that I did and then people see this full color painting, people actually like this quick limited color sketch more than they do this full color painting here. Now part of that reason might be because this might actually be a better reference. I thought this one had better lighting, but this one's just a little bit more evocative. It's a little bit more moody. It has a little bit more action to it. It looks like, you know, the stakes are high or something like that. So it could just be that it was like a cooler reference to work from, but this I did super quick. This took me a long time, yet this is the one that people really, really like. So sometimes, again, this is a great technique where using limited color can go a long, long way. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So in general, when you are working with three colors, you have the tone of your paper, you've got black and white color pencils, now you've got three colors, and you can start mixing a lot of these colors together. And the more you start introducing, yet another pencil, you're able to not only mix these colors with black and white, you're able to mix these colors with each other. So you can see this is a little sample of a face that I started to render with three colors. This right here is another face that I started as a demo. But what I wanted to show you is specifically Nebula here from Guardians of the Galaxy and all the cool Avengers movies. In the, one of the last videos that I shared with you guys, I did this monotone sketch using black and white color pencils, purple color pencil, and I used a light blue color pencil. Keep in mind, this is also on a pink tinted sheet of Artigan paper, uh, which is made by Strathmore. So it's almost like there's three colors really, plus black and white to kind of help out with the values. But I wanted to add a third color to render this out even more. So I was trying to think of what to do. Do I add like yellow or some you know interesting color like that? But I realized this whole mechanical piece that's kind of around her eye and goes around the back of her head, right now this is just kind of, because it doesn't have a color, this is just kind of black and white and it's this pink color and it kind of gets lost in the background. So I'm actually going to use a gray as my third color to kind of add into this piece and help it wrap around the side. So let's hop to it. Adding in some color and already, even without doing a lot of rendering, this is just helping separate this top piece from the rest of her facial plating mixing with the dark shading that I already put in there. Some of this blue shading that's in there a little bit that's kind of reflecting in there. That's looking pretty cool. I don't have to just put like this solid color everywhere. I really can kind of pick and choose where is it a little bit darker? Where does it kind of lighten up? Where does it have a little more texture? Already, see how this is standing out? This is looking pretty cool. And it's still limited. It's still, you know, it doesn't, it's not like a rainbow of fruit flavors. It's not too much color. It still has value, although we can continue to add in black and white color pencils. I feel like this probably could use maybe a little bit more contrast. I can actually add in some of that highlight and I can feather it in on top of that light area. All right, so I've got like these basic tones in there, but now I can really go back and forth with my black and white color pencils. And there are some areas here where I see that it kind of starts getting a little bit darker and I can start pulling 
that darkness back into it. A little bit of darkness here, and it just starts to get like this little dark reflection. See how that like helps round out that area right there? And sometimes you don't know until you see it. Sometimes you don't know until you start putting color down. Now I totally see, whoa, this needs to get way darker. What was I thinking? I was just shading so soft, but now that I'm getting the color in there, now it's apparent this whole area under here needs to go way darker. The more I start adding in, the more I start seeing where things need to go. This is starting to round out pretty good now. Now I wish I would have put the gray down here, but you know, I am going to have a little bit of gray here just to kind of balance that out. And then I think I am going to have a little bit of gray over here. I'm gonna put it over this black. It's gonna get this funky kind of gray, but I think it's actually gonna pull it together. I feel like the fact that I have this little bit of gray against the face here, it's just kind of helping balance out a little bit more of what's over here. Everywhere I look, I'm like, I keep looking around and now I'm noticing, you know what? It goes into a little bit more purple right here into her brow. She looks a little more concerned. And you see how already that's kind of by adding in that furrowed brow a little bit. It's just adding a little bit more texture. And it look at already like that area. She looks a little bit more BA now. I dig it. This area here could be a little stronger with the purple. You know, in some places I'm seeing in the blue here, it almost looks like there's a little bit of purple meshing in. And already I like it. I'm gonna put a little bit of purple in some of these blue areas because I see it. Even though I know this part is purple and the character in this part is blue, I actually see purple in the blue there. So I'm not gonna draw what I know, I'm gonna draw what I see. All right, so. Black and white color pencils, you've got your tinted paper, you're adding three colors. This is how it works. In the next video, we are going to go full steam ahead, full color pencil. Are you ready? I would do the three colors first, make sure you got a handle on that. It's pretty easy to do if you've kind of been following along with these step by step by step. Next time, it is full color. Did you enjoy class today? If so, give me a like. If there's something you'd like to see me cover in a future video, let me know what that is in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I've also got a video series called Sketchbook Challenge that helps your drawing, creativity, and fill up an awesome looking sketchbook. Plus, there are videos on You Can Draw Star Wars, Hollywood is Dead, and sneak peeks at the Aladdin 3477 Motion Picture Trilogy. In order to not miss any new videos, hit that notification bell. Sharing is caring, and it's great to inspire your friends. Share this video on social media, and your friends will share awesome art tips they find with you. If you're on Instagram, you can follow me at Matt underscore Bush underscore Instagram. I'll see you back in the classroom soon. Don't be tardy.